talking about 10 types of annoying girls. So let's get started. First one, number one, is compliment junkies. These girls will complain about their hair, the way they look, or their makeup, even when they know that they look good, and they do this because they're fishing for compliments. They just want people to compliment them. So stop complimenting them when you know that they look good because it's pointless and just stop doing it. Stop complimenting them when, they, when you know that they know that they look good. Number two, know-it-alls. These girls, they criticize like everything. They act like they know the answer to everything. They don't acknowledge opinions of other, other others' opinions or um, the ideas of others because they think they think that they're always right. So yeah, those are the know-it-alls. Okay, number three. Number three is the fat girls. These girls aren't really fat. They just call themselves fat. And they count their calories like every time that they're eating something. Like it's pretty annoying. Like, stop doing that. Like, if you're hungry, eat. Like, I'm not saying go eat, like, a bunch of junk food or something, but stop looking at every single, like, stop counting your calories, like, every single time. It's really annoying because, like, you call yourself fat. You're not fat. Stop it. Stop. And these girls, they want a thigh gap. Guys don't even care about thigh gaps. And if guys do, they're idiots, okay? guys don't care about thigh gaps, so stop worrying about it. You don't need a thigh gap. Also, these girls take forever to choose what they want to wear because they look fat and everything. And number four are the blondes. These girls have like too many blonde moments. They never understand jokes. They never, they don't understand like the simple things and they ask like really stupid questions. They also say the stupidest things and they also always do, do the stupidest things. And I'm not talking about like the once in a while. I mean, yeah, sometimes once in a while we all say stupid things or do stupid things. But these girls, they do it like all the time. Number five, cake faces. These girls are girls that put on too much makeup. And they take hours putting on makeup. And I know people always say, oh, girls take like take like two hours getting ready, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, these not all girls do that. Only the, these girls that put on so much makeup and take only like they take like two hours just putting makeup, just putting makeup on, not even getting dressed or doing their hair, but their makeup. These girls are so annoying. On top of that, they also wonder why they get so much acne. Maybe if you stop putting on so much makeup and washing your face every night and not like leaving it on for hours and hours like all day long, maybe you wouldn't get acne. Oh, and also their makeup has to be perfect. And that is also why they take like two hours putting on their makeup because their eyeliner, like it has to be perfect. It has to match with the other eye. It just has to be perfect. Number six, the tough girls. These girls act like they can kick anyone's ass and they'll beat you up if you, even if you like try talking to them. They hate on random people even if they don't even know them and they start shit for no reason because they're tough. And these girls, they will threaten you, but they're all talk, they won't do anything. So don't worry about them. If you, if you know one of these girls and they're always bothering you and saying shit to you and threatening you, they're not gonna do anything. And I'm not saying they, they're not, they might, just be careful, but yeah, they're mostly just all talk. Number seven, the fit girls. Now, these girls, when they're telling a story, they leave out the part that makes them look bad, but they'll make sure, they'll make sure that they say the part that makes the other person look bad. Not just bad, but freaking horrible like the worst person in the world. Or they talk shit about other people just to make themselves look better. Girls are also two-faced, they act nice to your face. Everyone knows what two-faced means. So they act nice to your face, but behind your back they'll talk shit. Um, also, I'm gonna give an example. Um, I believe it was last month, and um, one of my friends, here's a real, okay, no. I'm gonna tell you what she did. And I'm not gonna say any names or anything, and I'm not trying to like 
call her out or anything because I've already spoken to her about this, but but because she's done this, I'm going to say it to you guys just so everyone knows what the real story is. What happened was she went on Instagram or somehow, I guess she wrote it on, in her notes and screenshotted it and posted it on Instagram. Um, what she said was, she basically said that she was talking shit about my dad, saying he went up to her dad and talked about her boyfriend and stuff and, and asked if her dad knew if she had a boyfriend and saying, she also said that my dad was saying that, um, but because she's, she's Muslim and her boyfriend's Punjabi and I'm also, I am Sikh too, and, um, my dad basically told her dad that, uh, that all Punjabi guys drink and stuff, so saying that, oh, like, her boyfriend's gonna drink, basically, and that it, it wouldn't be good if they're in a relationship together, and that, you know, all that stuff, and she posted that on Instagram, but, oh, and also, like I said, saying that my dad went to her dad about it. Here's a real story. So one day, um, she asked me if I wanted to go to the mall with her, and I had said that, I said, I said maybe at first, but then I, later I told her, no, I'm going to Akasha's house, and that I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with her. So she told me, she, just, she said she was going to go with her boyfriend, and, um, and I said, okay, whatever, that's fine, and I guess her dad thought that she was with me. She lied to her dad, and her dad thought she was with me but my dad knew that I was not with her. So my dad called me asking me where I was, and I was like, hey, you already know where I am, right? And he was like, yeah, I know. Just making sure because her dad came to my dad to ask if I was with her. My dad didn't go to her. Her dad's all right. Um, but anyways, so, yeah, so I guess my dad had said something about the drinking thing and I guess that wasn't a lie but um and I didn't know about it right and what else <laughs> and yeah so my dad asked her like hey maybe she's with her boyfriend like do you know she has one and her dad said yes I do know she has one but she was basically telling the world on Instagram that her dad didn't know she had a boyfriend but he did that's sort of falling under the fakes. That's my story. And just so you know, I'm not calling her out on this. I'm not trying to make it a big deal. I just wanted to let you know, give you an example, and just kind of put it out there for those of you who think I'm a bad person because of the thing that she posted. So that was a real story. Okay, on to the next one, number eight. Number eight, <laughs> the home records. These girls are girls that will act friendly um, to your boyfriend and they will act friendly but they're actually trying to get out with your boyfriend. <coughs> they ask the boy to hang out as if they talk to the boy and they hang out with the boy, they ask the boy to hang out as if they are already dating. You need to stay away from these girls. <laughs> And for an, as an example, my friend's been through this. Um, some girl was trying to act friendly to her boyfriend, and basically they split up because of that. And yeah, so stay away from these girls, okay? Number nine, the party freaks. These girls party more than they study. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know some girls out there like that. And some of these girls don't even come to school. Some of these girls will show up once in a while and you'll be like, hey, where have you been? Oh, you already know where they've been, okay? They've just been partying and drinking and getting high and all that kind of stuff. They don't come to school. They don't care. These girls drink more alcohol than they even drink water. And when they go to parties, they just because they want to be more popular, they drink more alcohol because they want to be cool. And the last one, number 10, is the girls who dress to impress. These girls wear clothes that show a lot of cleavage and um, they, wear, they wear heels and they wear like tights that make your butt look nice and like tight shirts and all that kind of stuff and they wear clothes that make them look older than they really are and on top of that they'll obviously wear the makeup that will make them look older too.
too, but they'll wear like, yeah, clothes that make them look older than they actually are. Yeah, those are the girls that like to dress to impress. And that was all for this video. Um, give this video a huge thumbs up if you agree with what I said and you know some girls that are like that. Um, so give this video a huge thumbs up, um, like, or yeah, I already said that, <laughs> okay, yeah, like it, comment if you want, um, share this video, and what else, <laughs> yeah, subscribe of course, <laughs> okay guys, um, I would love if you guys subscribed, I know I have like 50 subscribers right now I believe, and that's, to me that's a lot, but I would love to have more because Having more subscribers is more, it motivates me um, to keep making more videos and I always get positive feedback from some of my viewers saying, hey, your videos make me smile and this and that and keep, keep making them. So I would love to have more subscribers and I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good night or a good day whenever you're watching this and I'll try to put more videos up and vlog more. Um, Tasha and I are coming out with, uh, with the video on Saturday, or filming Saturday. I don't know if it's going to be up by Saturday, but yeah, stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching.